What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we made it through Hayward uh, Town or City, and, well, we battled a Team Rocket member, did a few things, got a free map and all that stuff. Um, off screen, I actually got myself a TM or two uh, to teach the, the, the Pokemon right here. You know, we got Body Slam. Uh, Octazooka, we've already had that, but they can actually sell that right here. Do, uh, just a lot of stuff. Plus, we actually, we actually, what was it? Let me see. Hold on, just a sec. Yeah, off screen, we did train our Pokemon just a little bit more from all sides of the, the you know, the, the area right here. And luckily for us, Master and Kathy right here are traded in Pokemon. So, yeah, the boost. The boost was amazing right there. So now, let's see. Kind of want to go into this side right here. And as you can see, we can't go anywhere right now. So I'm assuming that it, we have to go up north to actually get to the next town right here. Because I've already tried east. Not a lot of stuff. So here we are, east of this whole place right here. And we're going to start battling. No, we're going to be battling some Pokemon. And yes, we are not going to be taking on this guy right here. Because, uh, yeah. Apparently, poison types do not work against... Uh, or wind, wind Pokemon does not work against... Uh, Poison type Pokemon. That's kind of odd right there. It really is. So here is a Pokemon Brown version of the Nugget Bridge. And yes, we're going to be taking on some pretty strong Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and use Gust Attack. Now, eventually I'm going to be switching up my Pokemon here and there. You know, making sure that, you know, I have a pretty good team right here in Pokemon Brown. Because again, do not know where or what am I doing. I, you know, this is a brand new game for me. So... Yeah, I kind of need to know, like, I kind of need, I just, like, you know, I'm picking and choosing what Pokemon to actually choose, or to, to, to use, and then, you know, I'm just spitballing right there. So here we go, and what the heck just happened right there? I, yeah, okay, so, of course, Master Wolf, he won't listen to me because, yes, he is a traded Pokemon. Let's go straight back to Hurricane right here. Good gravy. So I, it looks like to me that I have over overtrain my Pokemon right here so we need to get an extra badge for this whole situation so let's go straight for a gust attack does this work nope takes half the HP and well here comes a uh, poison sting but here comes the gust attack again and look at that Weedle has been defeated holy crud okay and then well yes the boosted stat right there and yes we have defeated a bug catcher so that's one down four more to go and yes, yes, she is second, but she is serious, I guess. I don't even know. So, here we go, going up against Lass, and she wants to take on us with a Pidgey. I think you can actually capture yourself a Nidoran female around here. So let's go straight for... Well, I was going to use Quick Attack, but... Pidgey, quit, uh, Pidgey beat me to it, so let's go straight for a Gust, and well... That's not going to work very much. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go... Actually, you know what? Let's just continue on right here. Again, eventually, I'm going to be switching up Pokemon. I really am. Uh, not comfortable with the crew that I have right now. Maybe I'm going to be searching out for some Pokemon that have a little bit more of effect towards this area. If not, just capture some more. So here we go. Gust Attack. Barely nipping at this guy's uh, HP. Look at that. Nearly defeats this Pidgey. So it's just a Gust Attack. Yeah, gust attack battle here and there and look at that Okay, alrighty look at that. Oh, and we defeated another Pokemon and well here She's coming out with a Nidoran female. So let's go straight for Bruce Lee right here. Bruce Leroy or Bruce Lee So here we go Bruce Lee the best Pokemon we have so far. Let's go with a double kick attack And it is a critical hit, but is not effective, but look at this Defeats Nidoran female quickly. Alrighty. Okay, alright. He lost fair and square. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out to our next Pokemon right here. Let's go with Sunny. I did teach Sunny a new move, and that is Body Slam. So hopefully that will actually work out. And here is number three. You will not take it easy on us. This is ridiculous. It really is. So here we go. Youngster wants the battle. And well, he's coming out with a Paris. You know, it would be nice to have a working Fire-type Pokemon. So, chances are we might be using Zoro in the next one. And, well, look at that. We are paralyzed again. Yeah, I am not liking this right now. But here comes a Body Slam from Sunny for the win. 
And well, let's see, here comes a neck end. Let's go right ahead and use Bruce Lee again. So, I believe after this episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of a switch training and all that stuff because, uh, yeah, I, I am not liking the team right now. And, you know, having a nice variety of Pokemon will actually work. And you know what? I'm probably going to have to, like, do my research on Wind Pokemon right here because how in the heck... How in the heck does Wind Pokemon, or, you know, what, okay, what is Wind Pokemon right now? Is it just like, a uh, Flying Type Pokemon? Or is it different? I don't know. So here we go. Take down attack. And it does it for the win. Look at that. Bruce Lee kicking butt, taking names, defeating youngsters. I was about to say gangsters right there. And, well, here we go with another one. Number four, getting tired? No, ma'am. I am not getting tired. I never get tired. Gattaca. So here we go. Last coming out with our Pidgey. Here comes Sunny. Paralyzed as heck. And well. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna be blind and paralyzed at the same time. So Yeah, okay, so it's not super effective. I'm 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 trying to figure this out right here. And look at that. Nearly defeats this Pidgey. I'm gonna go on uh both Pidgey right here just to figure this thing out. Could be a whole different thing. And well, here comes a Nidoran female, so let's go straight for Bruce Lee. And well, let's see, let's see. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. Let's go with the double kick attack for the win. And that right there isn't super effective, but it's still something. And well, let's see. Tackle attack doesn't do much. Double kick, let's just continue doing this. There we go. And it is super effective. Hell yes. Look at that. Okay. And well, let's see. Pokemon Brown. I'm still trying to re I'm still trying to figure that out. So let's go with a paralysis heal and heal our Sunny up. And well, let's continue on right here, battling this guy. And he's like, I'm number five and I'll stomp you. Whatever you say, homeboy. Okay, so I am looking at the region wiki, and it looks like to me that there are, let's see, which is south of Johto. I'm kicking ass while reading this. And let's see, okay. So Brom have game of a red Pokemon, or Pokemon Red version, created in 2004 by Cool Boy Man. It takes place in the new region of region, which is south of Johto, with its first 151st Pokemon in a region Pokedex. And then there was a two... 2009 remake, and then a 2014 uh, remake that added Sylveon, and I think I do have... Oh wow, he's like, you whooped us harder than Red! Hey! Take this, you deserve this! And we get ourselves a Nugget. Let's have one more battle for the heck of it! Good thing I'm not in Team Rocket anymore. I still like to wear the cool outfit though. Okay. And five new elementals. Okay, so I'm looking at this right now, and it's five new elementals. And let's see, 224 Pokemon from generation one through four. And let's see, new Pokemon evolutions, new types. Okay, I gotta look at the types. Okay, so here it is Clefairy, Clefable, fairy types. And then here we have Coughing from Poison to Poison Gas. Meryl Azumarill from Water to Fairy, Bellsprout, the Bellsprout line basically is, let's see, it's a grass poison wood, or, or it's grass and wood, Executor, Psychic and uh, wood, so, oh wow, and then Abnormal types, that, that comes from Ditto, and Porygon, holy crud, okay, so let's see, you got New Evolutions, which is basically the Pokemon that, you know, the, the Pokemon that, that go through, uh, or that evolve through items or through, uh, trade. So, for instance, if you got an Electro, an Electabuzz, you can use an Electrizer and boom, it will evolve. If you, if you have a Yanma, it will evolve at level 43. Graveler, if you trade stone, or if you use the trade stone, it will evolve. Actually, the Pokemon, uh, let's see, the Generation 1 Pokemon, hold on just a sec. When you reach the fork on the road, go right to get to the city. <coughs> oh, wow. Wow, maybe I should have read this before I, uh, yeah, okay. Should have read this before I, I played in. 
uh, let's see, Gly Glygar to Gliscor using a Razor Claw. And let's see, okay, we're gonna go right here, grab this, and we got ourselves a TM45. All the Gen 1 Pokemon evolved through a Trade Stone. Eevee... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. And then, let's see, let's see, Wing Attack space has increased, holy shoot. So yeah, I, I really do have to read into this whole thing on how to defeat Pokemon and all that stuff. Very, very uneducated and all that stuff. Okay, so here we are going into the fork of the area right here. We're going to be battling some more Pokemon, or more Pokemon trainers. Let's keep it right here and uh, battle these guys. And I heard that this path leads to Johto. Does it really? Okay, so here we go. Going up against another hiker, and let's see what hiker has. He does have a Sandshrew. Good thing for us, we have Sunny, the grass type Pokemon. So, yes, Razor Leaf would actually work. And, well, there it is. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So, it's a pretty good win right there. And Sunny has grown to level 23. And here comes a Krabby attack. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep it uh, the way it is and use a Razor Leaf attack. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so critical hit does its thing. And, well, Sunny defeating everybody, taking names and whatnot. That's good, that's good. Okay, so this is kind of like, uh... This is kind of like going to Bills. This is from what I'm seeing. Okay, so... Let's see. It looks like to me we're going to have to be using uh, Sunny right here. So, oh, God. Got a lot of Pokemon trainers to go after. So, like, local trainers come here to practice. Hmm, you don't say. Okay, so here we go. Youngster wants the battle, and, well, he's coming out with a slow poke. That right there is a problem for you. So, here we go. Oh, wow, Razor Leaf misses. Here comes a Confusion attack, and that nearly... Well, that takes a little bit of HP, but still, it's a, it packs a wall up. So, here we go. Razor Leaf does its thing. Hallelujah. Sunny is kicking butt, taking names. Look at that. Okay. And, well, here comes a Charmeleon. So, let's see. Let's go to Bruce Lee. Now, I know I have a Water-type Pokemon on my team. The only problem is it might not obey me because uh, it's probably... What? I have it at level 14? Yeah, it's probably a little too overleveled right now. So, we're just going to stick with Bruce Lee right here. Bruce Lee does his thing. Yes, he's telling me you're decent. Whatever. Okay, so let's go straight to Bruce Lee. And let's go ahead and start battling some more. You think you're tough? Oh no, I know I'm tough. Very, very tough. Okay, so here we go. Hiker wants the battle, and uh, he's coming out with his Diglett right here. Oh damn. Okay, alrighty, so let's get this double kick attack. Okay, look at that. And it's a critical hit. Okay, so my two best Pokemon right now is Bruce Lee and Sunny. Chances are I might be switching a lot of Pokemon right here now. I kind of want to see what we could find. So let's go ahead and speed it through. Let's see. I'm just running through. Speed button. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, there is absolutely nothing in there. Thought that there would be like a good Pokemon here and there, but nope. I was betrayed. I live in us. Oh wait, wait, wait! In Ausari City, and we know lots about Pokemon. Okay. Ausari. Ausari City. I'm sorry, City. That's what it sounds like to me. So here he comes out with a Tangela. And here we have Bruce Lee. And well, let's go straight for a double kick. That right there. It's taking a lot of HP. So yeah, I'm relying a little too much on the whole double kick thing, but it is what it is, guys. Just gotta do what you gotta do right now. And well, look at that. Bruce Lee grows to level 25. And we are victorious yet again. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this item. And it is the HMO1, which I would assume is uh, cut, right? Is it cut? Hold on. Yes, it's cut. So I think we already have the badge requirement for that. Or I could be wrong. I don't know. Alright, let's see. This chick looks like she has grass type, so let's go ahead and battle her with good old Hurricane. I'm always ready to battle. Okay, alright. Let's do this. 
going up against Lass, and she wants the battle coming with her coughing. Now, again, this is a gas type or wind type, I don't know, kind of situation. Again, guys, I, I, I'm not really getting it, so comment down below. And I guess wind types are stronger than gas types. Here comes a Poliwag, and well, let's go straight to Sunny. And look at this. Poliwag looks like a tadpole and all that. Let's go straight for a Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf does its thing. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And well, Sunny is victorious as always, so look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, well, we already know what kind of Pokemon we're going to find right there. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon yet again. Let's go with Sunny again. Sunny. And, well, here we have I'm ready to fight you. Yeah, this is exactly like uh, the, the, well, the way to, uh, to Bill's Cottage and stuff. So we're going to go up against Geodude. And, well... Another Razor Leaf attack. Now, I believe Razor Leaf has a little bit more PP than its usual, its regular game and whatnot, so... That's a, that's a, that's a pretty cool, cool thing right there. And, well, look at that. Kicking butts. Here comes an Onyx, so let's go ahead and just destroy his whole team with Sunny. Look at this, more Razor Leaf attacks. Look at that. Okay, now my question is, in real life, would Grass actually beat a Rock? I just want to know. Comment down below, guys. And, well, look at this. Sunny grows to level 24. We're reaching Hitmonlee's uh, status right there. So, here he's going to come out with a Machop. So, let's go straight to uh, Hitmonlee. Or Hurricane. Holy crud. Okay, I didn't mean to get Hurricane right here, but whatever. Let's go Gust Attack. Not effective. Again, how are fighting types not affected by wind types? Alright, let's go Quick Attack. And that right there takes more HP, so let's continue on right here. Now, if you guys remember, uh, karate chops are more than like more than usual, or more than usual, they will be uh, critical hits. So you just gotta, you guys gotta be careful for that. And look at this, level 21. And here comes an Eevee, which is new. So let's go straight to Bruce Lee. Now, speaking of Eevee, you can evolve that Pokemon in different ways. Uh, let's see, hold on, let's go with a double kick. Now, Eevee, if you want to go to Espeon, it can level up an Eevee from an international tunnel, to, or level up the first Eevee from the game corner. To so, Ombreon, north of Seasaur City, Le Leafeon, obtaining a trade of Botan City, Glaceon, second Eevee from the game corner, and Sylveon, use a magic wand in the 2014 edition. So, I think... I do have the 2014 edition. I, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I could be wrong, but we could have a chance at Sylveon since we do have a Fairy-type Pokemon in here. So, let's go right ahead and take on Radita and go with that Razor Leaf attack right here. Let's go, let's go. Eat that Razor Leaf. Critical hit. I do love my critical hits, guys. And, well, here comes an Ekans, and, well, let's see... Go with oh crud! Wanted to go with Bruce Lee, but we're going with Shroomy. Might as well use Bru uh, Shroomy while we're at it. As I'm battling this Pokemon right here, I am looking at. I'm really looking towards the like I'm. Well, I'm actually looking at the t type of uh, evolutions that you can actually have right here, and I am very interested in some of these Pokemon right here, guys. I'm not going to lie. And well, look at that. We defeated our next trainer right here. And, well, let's see. Got one more trainer. Please let it be the last trainer right here. I knew I had to fight you. Yeah, he's the last trainer. Oh, yes. He, he reminds me of a... He reminds me of a Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. So here he comes up with a Butterfree. This is definitely new. And, well, let's go straight for a Body Slam right here. And that doesn't... Uh, well, it takes a lot of HP. And, well, luckily for us, we did not get confused. There you go. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a seal, so let's go ahead and switch it out. Or, actually, you know what? Seal's a water-type Pokemon. Let's go straight for a Razor Leaf. And uh, there you go. Razor Leaf for the win. Critical hit. What now? Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. 
Okay, so... Oh, wow. There's one more trainer, I think. Hopefully. I don't know. God dang it! So we're gonna be battling this girl. Everyone loves Route 50. Not me. I don't know why, but I do not love it. Okay, so here we go. Lass wants to battle. She's coming out with her bell sprout. And, well, let's get it. Alrighty, Body Slam for the win. Look at that. Body Slam does its thing. Okay, and, well, let's see. Coming out with an oddish, let's go ahead and see if Bruce Lee does the trick right here. Okay, okay. Let's get it. Switching it up to Bruce Lee. Let's go with a double kick. Yeah, it doesn't sound super effective, but it is a it does pack up a wall up and well look at that Oddish defeated And well, we got one more Pokemon and she's coming out with a Growlithe. So let's continue on right here with a double kick attack And there goes Growlithe with a critical hit and well Draven is the victor yet again. Oh, yes, I am victorious All right, so Let's see, there should be something right here. Route 50 through 49, and well, it seems like to me that, uh, well, this is the end of the line right here. And let's go ahead and talk to this guy. There's a lookout spot upstairs. Okay, let's see, what do we have right here? Now, if you talk to this girl, let's see. I don't need this, so you can have a ticket, ticket. And we received the TM39, what would that be? I don't want to know what that that TM39 would be. Let's see. Boot it up, and it is swift. Okay, so that's a nice move that we can actually use. And let's take a look at the binoculars. And there is Azalea Town. And right here, look at the binoculars. It's a man biking. Okay, Azalea Town. Really? Thought that was a Johto. Okay, so let's see. Route 49, Osari City to Azalea Town. Okay, so. This is something new right here, guys, and it looks like to me that we are in Osari City Town. Pokemon Daycare, holy crud. Okay, so we've reached a new town. Let's see. Name Raider. Okay, okay, so I think we are in Osari Town City? City? I don't even know. Where is a Pokemon City or a Pokemon? Or a Pokemon Center. There it is. Okay, so we're going to stop it right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be exploring this whole place, battling some more Pokemon. Uh, training some Pokemon and all that stuff. Stay tuned, guys. There's going to be a lot of changes within the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>